Okay, so um, as you can see, I've got the, the V in now. If I lift it up, you can actually have a look over there. The V is in all the way through to the middle of the board. Um, so I'm happy with that V. It's nice. It's blended very nicely in. Um, very important when you're shaping, try not to get rid of your center line. I know there's going to be some places because it's only a light pen mark, but wherever I can, I can see that all the way through. That center line hasn't been touched. So one of the biggest things in shaping is to make sure that your center line stays where it was because that is actually your design your template that you've tried and you tested um, so i'm very happy with it now what i'm going to do is get rid of the center line which you have to in this area here which is sort of under the feet to the seat area which is going to be the concave so i'm going to put that in quickly okay so now i have the single concave in very slight maybe two millimeters which is all good and then I have marked out the line for the chamfer so I'm going to chamfer these rails out so it's going to have a chamfer from around about a four inch hundred millimeters on the nose and it's going to go all the way to where the fins are that will help with the water entry over here so when the water enters the board it helps with the entry um, so it's not entering um, and then grabbing it's entering and then flowing um, that's how the water it sort of goes up and over if I had a it does that and then it hits the middle of the board it goes up and then over and hits the middle of the board and that that's what creates the lift 